Greetings family, this is Baba Ankh and I wanted to present to you the eight principles of Sichet, the re-Africanization of the Kabbalion from Akimai's view. African proverb, examine what is said, not who is speaking. A roaring lion kills no game. Uh, what is the Kabbalion? Uh, a shorthand version in the author's view for understanding the universe and creation. The principle in the Kabbalion crosses all intellectual fields and can be applied to all knowledge systems. I've not found one place yet in my studies that the Kabbalion is not applied. The glaring omission in the book is the lack of attention to spirit. The universe or creation is beyond words and can only be connected with and truly understood through spirit, not through logic and thought. In its original title, it is termed the study of the Hermetic philosophy of ancient Greek, ancient Egypt and Greece. Hermetic is derived from Hermes, which comes from thought or thought. And it's the origin of the English word uh, thought. We know from Kemetic teachings that Hermes, Hermetic, is derived from thought, Tehudi, Tehudi, Jehudi, Yahudi. Tehudi, they didn't use letters, so THT. Tehudi represents the divine principle of knowledge, wisdom, truth. Tehudi is complemented by Sishat, the female principle of wisdom. And in the Greek, and this is Greek teachings, the Kabbalion is, so I consider it the dummy's guide to Egyptian knowledge system. And it gets you there, but it won't get you fundamentally or I should say foundationally there as a kid I wanted to truly understand it to only get you to the front door so to speak but you need the spirit to go through uh, and the Kabbalion is a book composed of seven principles mentalism correspondence vibration polarity rhythm gender cause and effect and I propose the eight principles of Sachet and do away with this Kabbalion 7 stuff. It's a re-Africanization of this comedic knowledge. So we start with spiritualism, mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. And this is a drawing I had commissioned to try and encap encapsulate all this into uh, one picture, one symbol. I call it the Orabi. Spiritualism. Uh, represented by Amen. This is a symbol for Amen. You may see some with the disc and so forth, and that's Amen Ra, but Amen means hidden or unknown, unseen. Spiritualism is us as human beings as divine entities on this planet having a physical human experience but we're taught that we're these meat robots having these different experiences we're actually spirits having driving this meat robot or this this body we call it or this beast uh this rental i like to think of it as the concept of our men symbolizes that hidden profound component of our existence that, that can only be accessed through spiritual practices. The concept of spiritualism is, is most commonly expressed as spirituality. And I went into the dictionary and I found so many different def definitions for uh, spiritual spirituality. So I just made up my, my one myself. Keep it in spirit with the Kimites. Uh, Spiritualism is a concept of man's ultimate connection to the all. From Akimai's view, spiritualism includes the concept of everything is energy expressed at discrete frequencies and vibrations. The essence of man is divine energy of creation from the creator. We are connected to all and can manipulate the primordial essence, the noon, or commonly called the either, through will and intent. That's very important. We have the power to change things around us. Now, of course, you got to use your physical body too, but through will and intent, we can accomplish just about anything. 
Consciousness is both local and non-local and can access all information. <coughs> Anytime. I'm sorry about that. Mentalism. I use a uh, Jiyami symbol, which is there's nothing above God. Love the symbols, primarily in the uh, Akan people. And nothing is above the Creator's mind. The all is mind. The universe is mental. The phenomena of life, matter, energy, and in short, all that is apparent to our material senses is spirit, which in itself is unknowable and undefinable, but which may be considered and thought of as a universal, infinite living mind. And the author disagrees with this conflation of mind and spirit which can lead to confusion. That was what, what I just read was in the Kabbalion. Uh, the mind is contained within the spirit. And according to the Kabbalion, it says, he who grasps the truth of the mental nature of the universe is well advanced on the path to mastery of self and the universe. Disagree with. Now we go to correspondence. Call this the sign of the opposing pyramids. Some people call it the Star of David, but we know all these things were stolen. Or I, sh I should say co-opted from comedic teachings, world teachings, and may even go back to Atlantis. I'm not sure. As above, so below. As below, so above. There are planes beyond our knowing, but when we apply the principle of correspondence to them, we are able to understand much that which would otherwise be unknowable to us. The principle is of universal application and manifestation. On the various planes of the material, mental, spiritual, universe, it is a universal law. This principle is fundamental to science and mathematics and can also be used in understanding social and cultural phenomena. This principle demonstrates the fractal or holographic nature of the universe. Correspondence also, or I should say correspondence allows for the graduation from linearity to nonlinearity, from laminar to turbulent flow. It allows the comprehension of chaos theory vibration for this symbol I use the waters of the noon nothing rests everything moves everything vibrates and the waters of the noon symbolize the vibratory nature of everything thermodynamics validates the principle using the concept of absolute zero because even at this temperature where mostly all heat is removed there is still movement this principle explains that the difference between the modalities of manifestation of matter, energy, and mind, and, every, and even spirit, result largely from varying rates of vibration. He who understands the principle of vibration has grasped the scepter of power. This principle equally applies to the area of emotion and self-control, as taught in the course of African student learning. While vibrating on Manifestations we seek to bring forth the resonance principle which moves towards crystallizing things, these crystallizing these mental energies in through the physical world. Polarity. This is the uh, infinity symbol with positive and negative poles. <coughs> Excuse me, I have this cold. Polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has this pair of opposites. Like and unlikes are the same. Opposites are identical in nature but different in degree. Extremes meet. All truths are but half truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. Examples of polarity include temperature, emotions, economic wealth. Moving to rhythm. Use the drum. African drum represent rhythm. Everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. The, bench, the pendulum swing manifests in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. This principle ties neatly into vibration. Examples include music, light, life. Next we move to cause and effect. And I have these opposing arrows that represent that. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to this law. A chance is but a name for the law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. 
The, rec the recognition of this principle uncovers much of the confusion we encounter today. This principle is closely tied to the world ages or epochs and to self-mastery. Gender. Uh, we use the Ankh because this is a symbol of, they say fertility, but it also represents the male uh, genitalia and the female genitalia and the union of uh, the male and female genitalia. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes. Gender can best be understood through the idea of complementarity, action, and reception. It is the author's view that gender allows the creator to unfold creation with more variety and thus more experience and thus knowing. Conclusion The eight principles of Sashet, the re Africanization of the Kabbalion. Spiritualism, mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, gender. And this is the Orabi. Spiritualism is at the top with the sign of uh, Amen. And we have mentalism, which is the Giyami. Correspondence, which is the uh, sign of the opposing pyramids. Vibration. Polarity, rhythm, gender, cause and effect. And you see, this is also, uh, what is that? Uh, the Jews have taken this symbol, uh, Kabbalah. But uh, our brother, Ram Nefra Min, reclaimed it, and I've added more to it. So feel free to reclaim our symbols that have been taken from us. It's time to reassemble the body of Osir so that the Savior can come through. But it won't be just one Savior. All of us will be awakened as Saviors. The End